Oh, it was a gorgeous day across western Washington, but what lies ahead for the rest of the week? Let's check in with meteorologist Adam Claybon for those details. Adam. Yeah, so we are going to get a warm up here in the next couple of days. The weekend is going to be a little different because we're going to see numbers actually drop again into our weekend, and we're going to have a very comfortable air mass, which is going to be close to those seasonal averages like what we're seeing right now. You can see highs, upper 60s, lower 70s this afternoon, 71 in Seattle, topped off at 71 in Renton, 71 in Shelton at 72 in Olympia. Now there are changes coming next couple of days. If you're not a fan of the heat per se, we're going to get a little bit of that around for us, but it's not going to last long. Westport, beautiful look right now, bright and going to be fairly comfortable again, as warm as it can be with that marine air mass in place. Westport uh, sitting in the low 60s as of right now, but it is warmer than yesterday, up by about four degrees and across Puget Sound, up by five to 10 degrees as we get that warmer air mass to start to move on in. Now temperatures are in the upper 60s in Bremerton after topping off at 70 one in Seattle back down to 69. Same in Tacoma sitting in the upper 60s around Bellingham at 67 degrees. Something else we're going to keep an eye on for tomorrow. A slightly higher chance of some showers and storms up here across the Cascades. So if you have any sort of hiking plans or maybe you're heading up there just to try to get away, you are going to have to deal with some of those, especially the North Cascades as that starts to scoot its way farther towards the West. But high pressure is really going to be the dominant feature and that's going to lead us to the warm up plus the sunshine that we're expecting here over the next few days. Now what we probably won't see as much tomorrow morning will be that cloud coverage that we started off with so much of here this morning. We're expecting that to break apart fairly quickly and then we get into the afternoon warming up a bit more. Those showers and storms start to come in by the mid to latter part of the afternoon. So we're talking three, four, five o'clock that tries to inch its way farther to the west. Most of the mountains eating up that moisture, but I think here around northern parts of Snohomish, but definitely Skagit and Whatcom County. Keep an eye out for an outside chance of a quick light shower that will move on through dies off during the nighttime hours. Then we head on into the day on Friday, and this is going to be the day where we have uh, an air mass that's heading in. But those of us closer to Puget Sound, a lot of clear skies there. You can see the milky colors choking up right up there across the coast. That's the marine air that's heading its way eastward throughout the day. So the coast will have our warmest day tomorrow before things do start to change up heading into the day Friday. Things closer to Puget Sound. We're going to wait up a little bit. We'll get another warm day, get up back around the 80 degree mark, and then things start to cool back down. And then for the weekend, yeah, we're still keeping an eye out for some of those showers. Saturday, you can see a lot of that starting to flare up during the afternoon hours. They die off. Then Sunday, lesser chances of that around. We'll continue to see still some across the northeastern part of the state. And then Monday, Memorial Day itself, completely dry. Looks like we're going to keep most of the state, not all the state, dry here across the region. And we'll continue that trend here on into next Tuesday. Lows tonight, they will be kind of cool, upper 40s to low 50s. So make sure to have something warm before you head out the door tomorrow morning. But we warm up nicely and quickly. 60s and 70s across our northern communities, getting up closer to 80 for Bellevue and Renton, 75 in Seattle, 77 in Bremerton. South Sound seeing highs in the mid to upper 70s, maybe even outside chance at 80 for Belfair and around Shelton. Here's your seven day forecast. 80 on Friday, things are cooling down over the holiday weekend. It will stay around those low 70s Saturday all the way through next Wednesday.